Did anybody ever date somebody that was so religious that like you felt like it was kind of a hindrance to the relationship a little bit? Anybody? No? Nobody? Gay? Oh, you weren't going to heaven anyway, so. <laughs> See you in hell, baby! Let's go! Dude, if hell's where all the gay people are at, sign me up! Bro, that's just about to get hard! Boyfriend? No? He's out of town. He's out of town? Well, who's this? <laughs> Mr. In Town. <laughs> How do you know this gentleman? My friend. Your friend? How do you guys know each other? Sports? <laughs> what sports you play? Flag football. Flag football? Without the L? Some fun. What is your name? Jordan. Jordan, pleasure to meet you, Jordan. How <laughs> do you know them? I met him in the men's restroom. You met him in the men's restroom? State your pronouns. You met the table full of women in the men's restroom? Men are in there on soft, okay? It's a very vulnerable place. <laughs> Is it married? Yeah. How long? Five years. Five years, congratulations. Thanks. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, when we were four and five. When you were four and five. Yeah. Well, you're not nine and ten, so I'll tell you. <laughs> where was this? <laughs> you grew up together. No way. Across, you fucked the neighbors? <laughs> Oh my god, that's some wholesome shit right there. You hopscotch your way into some pussy, man. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> god. That's so adorable. Aww. How'd you shoot your shot? We were swimming. You were swimming? Yeah. <laughs> it's unhygienic from what I've heard. Chlorine or a river? <laughs> it was a pool above ground? Yeah. Was it really? Oh man. Do you know do you know how impeccable your game has to be to get some pussy in an above ground pool? <laughs> God damn, I wish I had a sketch, dude. Cause that is such a funny visual of like I imagine him just like picking her up and putting her on the side of the pool. And she's just up like this and the side folds down. <laughs> <laughs> And then that giant gush of water is just like <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn, you wet. <laughs> While she's just being waterborne in the grass. Just <laughs> <laughs> you guys can get the visual, right? Like, yeah. He doesn't like when you go out with your friends. He doesn't like when you go out with your friends? Are they guy friends? <laughs> Are they whores? <laughs> I don't know, that's tricky. I gotta beat all your friends. And are they hotter than you? <laughs> Preferably yes. <laughs> it's like, cool, alright, you're not gonna be the star. Good. You're not gonna be the star. Is that, is that something you're dealing with currently? Yes, yeah, something friends deal with. Yeah. It's something your friends deal with? Yeah. yeah. Is that friend here? You are the friend. <laughs> so you're in a relationship right now with a guy who doesn't like you going out with your girls. She's single. I bet. Your. She's the single friend that he doesn't like her going out with. Oh. So you fuck around. <laughs> Call him up. I need both sides of the story right now. All right, this is this is your best friend, I assume, and now she's clashing with your boyfriend. So, no, no, no. what the fuck is happening in this story right now? This story has changed seven times. I thought you said she was single. Her best friend has a controlling boyfriend. Her best friend has a controlling boyfriend. Where is the girl with the boyfriend? Not here. She can't come out. Oh, this bitch in a basement somewhere. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Oh my god, she's not missing much because this story sucks, man. <laughs> Yeah, look, explain this to the cops. <laughs> Where is she? Well, my friend has this boyfriend who's like kind of patrolling with his friend's girlfriend. And As we know, there's a reason you put up with crazy shit in a relationship, right? Pussy. Yeah. I can't see you, but I want to believe that was God. You know what I mean? You're 52. Who are you here with, man? My wife. Oh shit. <laughs> 17 years. 17 years? What's your name, man? Troy. Troy. Great to meet you, Troy. 16-year-old daughter. Why? Why are you telling me that? <laughs> that seemed like a setup, didn't it? What's up? I'm Troy. Been married 17 years. Had a 16-year-old daughter. Don't mind the math on that. Definitely got married to a force. But she's fine as fuck and ready to mingle. Why you like, why you pitch your family like it's the beginning of an episode of Next on MTV? Remember that shit? What's up? I'm Troy, I'm 52, I love pussy. And I got married because she got pregnant. So what would you say is the key to keeping things fresh and exciting after 17 years though? Space. Space. I know she means like personal space, but I want to believe like they only jerk off to like videos of the Milky Way. You know what I mean? Like they they just fuck to like audio books by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like <laughs> now nah, you got fuck you ever fuck to space? I don't want to hear about your wife's black holes, dog. I'm, I'm all right. You moved here just a few years ago. Why'd you make the move? You lived in a hectic house? Is that like a trap house in the UK? Um, what is a hectic house? Um, I don't know. It was basically just a house share, but like the landlord didn't know who was in there. there was it was a house share, but the landlord didn't know who was in You were squatting. <laughs> you were in somebody else's house and they didn't know you were in there? That's a trap house. Um, and now you have a not so hectic house. You have roommates? No, I live with my boyfriend. You live with your boyfriend? This conversation's over. <laughs> Whatever. Fine, if I can stay in your hectic relationship if you want to. What's you, parents your parents? You have children? I have one. How old are you? 28. You're 28? 28, 28 and you've got a baby. How old's your kid? Seven. Seven? Holy shit, that's not a baby, that's a roommate. So, what's your boyfriend do? Doesn't have a job. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So what are you doing to provide for this entire family? I'm very hoarse today, but and I just started DJing. You're a singer and you DJ. That's so cool. I've, oh man, I've always fuck. Oh, I wish I could sing. I'd never tell another joke for as long as I lived. <sighs> the acoustics in here are pretty good. Should we sing something? Do you guys know R. Kelly? Five, six, seven, eight. That's how old they were. <laughs> has, has anybody here ever, ever seen a ghost? Have you really? Yeah. What, what did you experience? Uh, I went to a haunted house where I grew up in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, which is very haunted. Now when you say a haunted house, you make a Halloween one or like no, a legitimate no, haunted house? No, like a house that was like owned by the Ku Klux Klan at one point. Oh, 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 oh those weren't ghosts. Um, uh, it's, um, it's, it's actually much scarier and, uh, they don't like shadow people either. So I was going up to the house and there looked like there was an old man in the window. I bet there was. Well, <laughs> I turned around to tell my friends about it and I turned around and he was like gone. And so I thought it was a ghost. It, I just felt a very haunted feeling. 
You all thinking I'm crazy or something, but I think you're looking at No, they think you're racist. They don't think you're racist. I don't think you're crazy. No, 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 no. You're, you're just fine. It's okay. Totally different thing. Different, different thing to be ashamed of. It's all right. So did you get a chance to go inside the house? No, I ran from that house. You're probably not the first person. So I'm, I'm glad that you are a believer and, and back me up. The ghosts are fucking scary. <laughs> Monsters are scary too. I don't. I don't. I don't want. To, I don't want to negate. That's not a real one. <laughs> Some monsters are fucking real. You. you went to their house. <laughs> People are monsters. <laughs> What's that? It's for you. It's a build a bear. That's for me. Yeah. What is it? It's a build a bear. You got me a build a bear. <laughs> Why? It's a voice message too. It has a voice message? Yeah, from your show where you said if someone got you a Build-A-Bear. Oh my god, so I did, I did a TikTok one time where the girl in the audience was saying it was a red flag that a guy brought her a Build-A-Bear on a first date. And I had said in the video, I was like, I would love if somebody brought me a Build-A-Bear. So you brought me one? Yeah. I gotta do more jokes about getting my dick sucked. <laughs> I doing with all this cute shit? Oh God! Thanks, I guess. This is so sweet. Thank you. Oh, your numbers are on here. It might still happen. It might still happen. Okay. We can use them for cleanup. Can I take them out of here? Yeah. This is so cute. Aww. You didn't really, you didn't spring to get him any clothes? That's kind of the whole, you didn't really build the bear. You just kind of, you kind of just, looks like you stole one, kind of. There's a voice my one? Yeah, press his paw. Press the paw? What if I press it and it's just like, I want you to fuck both of us. It might be the other one. That sucks, I can't lie. That's, um, that's uh, it's not incredibly audible, but it's a thought that counts. Thank you so much. This is, this is one of the, the sweetest, laziest gifts I've ever had. Thank you. Oh, back in there you go. There we go. What's your name, bro? Corey. Corey? It's a very white name. Um, it's short for something. It's, it's short for something? What's it short for? I mean, it's still very white. Even when it's short for is white? Cornelius? <laughs> Yo, what? Bro, you can't even say the N-word, if I'm being honest. You can't. You don't get to say it. Cornelius! <laughs> Ain't that the motherfucker from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Who's like, Silver! <laughs> Dog, your credit score 900. Shut up. Oh my god. It throws them for a loop. It does. It throws everybody for a loop. How many job interviews have you gotten over the phone? I, I've never been. I've never been declined. You've never been declined. That's why. Enjoy white privilege, Cornelius. <laughs> it ain't so bad, right? It's kind of cool. <laughs> I fuck with you, Corey. My dude. What do you do for work? I work for the water authority. Did you go to college for that? Nope. You didn't go to college? There's the black. I, <laughs> I did go to school for a little bit to be a cop though. You went to school to be a cop? Back to white. <laughs> Interesting. And why'd you why'd you bow out? Politics and I was a better criminal. <laughs> I asked him why he stopped going to training to be a cop, and he goes, politics, and I was a better criminal. Back to black. <laughs> Who are you, Cornelius? You're a mystery, bro. I feel like if we smoke together, I'll be like, are you even really here? Hey, fuck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> How long you been out and about? 2020. Summer of 2020, but recently. Were you just that bored in the house? How old are you? 20. 
You're 20? So you, you, your birthday is this Wednesday? Happy birthday, man. Um, You guys gotta compete. Who sucks better dick? Is, uh... You think so? He's got home field advantage. <laughs> Alright, let's test it. Alex, get back out here. Alex, get back. <laughs> are you single? You are single? It, you're gonna die that way if you want to be far. Really anyway, you got any more room on your team? Because this shit is annoying. Oh. oh my god. So, no public boyfriend just yet. It's complicated. He's not shit. He ain't shit. Why do you say that? Why do you, you... Don't cheer, you homophobes. <laughs> what, 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 made, what made him not shit? Besides you in there. Because yeah. <laughs> he was blocking the path. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever. You fucking turds. But you were fucking turds, actually. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, I'm sorry. Real question. Is there like a certain thing she needs to look for? A certain quality, maybe? A green flag to look for? One legged guy! <laughs> God! I've never been heckled by a pirate in my fucking life! Oh my god. Bro, what, ha what happened to your leg? Oh, uh, bad, bad motorcycle rides. Bad motorcycle rides? <laughs> so fucking Florida. Oh my god. How long ago was that? 12 years. 12 years ago? Damn. What was that? 12, 14, I don't know. Were you drinking during this motorcycle accident? Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir? Yeah. Shocker. Wait, give me, a, give me a pro and a con. I quit. You quit? Drinking, hopefully? What's your name, man? Brett, Brett, and I used to get it wet. <laughs> I think I'm having an aneurysm. Brett, Brett, I used to get it wet? What did you used to get wet? The other leg? Like he didn't start this shit, okay? You gonna fucking take his side in the middle of a heckle fest? The last thing this guy needs is a leg up advantage. Alright, I'm gonna need you to be quiet now, okay? One more time for Brett, everybody. Do you have light up shoes? Why? <laughs> They're so bright. You're welcome. Was that? I said you're welcome. You said you're welcome? Yeah, thank you for bringing Christmas lights on your feet. I appreciate that. <laughs> if you click your heels together three times, you go back to Dayton. How cute is that? <laughs> can I see it? Can I see it so they understand? Can you take, can you, are you able to take one of them off? Or both? Forever? <laughs> Look at this kiosk motherfucker right here. You buy these at the same kiosk, you can get your phone screen fixed for $7.99. <laughs> you got those on Amazon? Give them back. Free return policy. Read the shirt. What'd your show say? Put your balls all over me. It's Christmas. I feel like you can't wait to have your chimney come down. That's why. Oh my god. It's been a hard year. It feels like you've learned nothing. What? <laughs> Did you say I had my whore phase in the Marines? Yeah, that's what I want my soldiers doing. <laughs> How'd you get those hostages back? Well... Uh. <laughs> soldiers are army, Marines are Marines. Well, those shoes are off regardless. So <laughs> those can't be service mandatory. <laughs> 
What did you do in the Marines besides suck dick? Circumcise. Circumcise. <laughs> oh, it's simple. Sorry, sorry. Different one. Different one. Sorry. I didn't know. What's another one? You. Oh. Damn. All right, bitch, turn these lights on. Turn the house lights on. Right now. I am broke right now. Who said more? What about what? What? What about me? I'm too cocky. Well, imagine I was like a timid comedian, and I was like, "You guys, you guys ever have your your, your grandpa fuck a fucking flashlight?" <laughs> Confidence is like so key, you know what I mean? Like especially to delivery, you know? <laughs> hey, I I come quick like everybody else. Okay, I'm just I'm simply human, you know. <laughs> uh, was that it? Is it is it ego thing? You think? No. No. You changed your answer. What is what is it now? Huh? She told you not to do it. She told you not to do it? You should listen to your friends. Did she give me your number? No. No, please nobody give me their number. What's that? Alright, go ahead and read it out loud for everybody. Go ahead. I'll take it down right now. What is it? She won't do it. Go ahead, what is it all though? Okay. Oh, Did I get that right? Nine one one, right? That's what you said. Is that, is that who you call? Is that who you call to file a restraining order? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, what's your social security number? Since we're just out here throwing numbers around. My grandfather was born in 1880. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have any pictures of him. Yeah. We, we had a description of my grandfather framed on the wall. Somebody wrote down what he looked like, and mom framed it. And I'd go up by it and be like, just like him. <laughs> I'm gonna come up, yeah. Feels real good after I've been so blue. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come up. What's up? What's up? Introverts? You don't like introverts? I, I would say I'm introverted, despite this job. Like I'm, I'm pretty introverted. Are you? Are you? An, are you an extrovert? That's your thing, so you go out to parties, you like to be center of attention? Clearly. <laughs> so when was his last uh, introvert that you tried dating or like, he's just not kidding, he's not outspoken enough? You married an introvert? Are you still married to him? You, but, you, but you gave him 16 years of just silence? <laughs> and what was the final straw? You were like, I just can't deal with it. And he was like, I don't know what you want me to do. What was, the, what was the final straw, if you don't mind me asking? It is like therapy. You want to be an extrovert, fucking talk. No, don't. No, 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 no. Don't talk to me when I want to talk to you. Don't do it. What did he, what did he do for work? Was he like an office job kind of guy? CPA. CPA? What's that? What is it? An accountant? Yeah, this motherfucker crunches numbers for a living. You didn't see this coming? You thought he was gonna be class clown? <laughs> this motherfucker eats pussy with a green visor on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you kind of should have seen that coming a little bit. He sounds like you gave, you gave him a chance, though. When I met him, he was smart, he worked at Levi's, he had a whole beach bag, he was great with gay friends, and then it was like after we got married, he was like, I think I want to be a couple. And then it was like, what? Okay, so when, when, you first, when you first met him, he was in marketing, working for Levi's. For some reason, he had all these gay friends. That would seem like an unnecessary detail of the story, but you felt like you were going out there. But I guess that's not, I've never met a gay introvert in my entire life. Even the bottoms are loud as fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs>
Did you say magic? <laughs> Explain yourself. Did you fuck a magician? That's dope. <laughs> You, you know a lot of guys who do magic on dates? Yeah, a lot of, yeah this has happened a lot where guys have done magic tricks on dates. Dudes are out here doing magic? How the fuck do I compete with that? Watch me pull a condom out of my pocket. Oh my god. Yeah, what app is that? Ta-da! practicing magic and is like, this one's for the bitches. <laughs> oh my god. That's some slithering shit to do though, isn't it? That's some slithering shit. Wow. So this isn't a guy you've been on a date with, this is guys you know. Um, yeah, it's happened to a lot of my friends. You're saying it happened like they forced magic upon me. And I don't, I don't think that's the case. Unless they fucking put them in that box that they're supposed to saw them in half, or like, now nah, you stuck. That's, that, that, that's problematic. That's incredible. You know how many dates I go on where I'm like, fuck, what are we talking about next? I wish this bitch would pull a fucking seven of hearts out from behind her ear or something. I guess I have gone on a date with a girl one time, and about a month later, she made a baby disappear. So. Well, that's loyalty. It sounds like if, he should, if he's fucking anybody, he should be the mother of his child, no? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you break up a family. He's still in his house with his wife and his baby. The audacity of this man to live happily ever after. He doesn't fuck with her? No, he said he don't fuck with her, but he's lying. I think he's lying. Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. <laughs> I mean, maybe he shouldn't be he shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Uh, what, four, four months. Four months? <laughs> That's tough. That's, that, this, you know what, this is a little too early to be having this many red flags, to be honest. Like, this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So, I, my best advice would be to either, I'd say, break up with them or also get pregnant. Play this bitch's game, okay? He was FaceTiming her the other day, and she was breastfeeding at the same time. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Damn. How are they? Yeah, it sounds like you do something very well that she doesn't. Like raise her child? <laughs> Maybe you might be you might be the best mom for this situation. I don't know. Man, this is the coolest episode of Dr. Phil I've ever been on. <laughs> This shit is all over the place. By the way, this isn't normally how this crowd work goes. Usually someone will be like, ah, you know, they have, I don't know, they have fucking, they wear flip-flops or something silly, but y'all like, no, my life is in pieces. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you. What do you do work-wise? I uh, take care of my two younger brothers. You take care of your two younger brothers? What do you want to do after the kids are grown? You, you were going to school for forensic anthropology. What's that? <laughs> so, um, basically, I would like, look at dead bodies and try to figure out uh, what happened to them. Did you get to the point in the school where you were like face to face with a dead body? No, I, I quit going to school because I lost myself. <laughs> you, wait, hold on, what? I, would you rather I not repeat that? She basically, she stopped going to school because she started having some negative thoughts and wanted to focus on some health care, some self-care. We'll, we'll, we'll phrase it that way. Uh, 
she was she was not doing so well mentally, so her parents were like, "Here, watch our other two kids." <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, Jesse, you're in no position. Oh my god. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you don't end up looking at two more dead bodies. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. <laughs> would you be like in like the morgue? Is that where where where, you, where like your work would take place? Could be. I also fucking... thought about doing like field work, so like going where the body is. Field work. Oh, Not a term I would be using in the South, but. <laughs> <laughs> field of work, maybe, but. Um, <laughs> I roasted you. I figured I at least owed you a conversation. So thanks for being so sweet. Um, don't put me in your note. We had one fellow that got hit by lightning, but he had, uh, yeah, he prearranged it for, to try to get that money. And the fuck crazy part was, dude, he was in a damn coma. We were jealous of him, man. We're like, look at this rich motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Breathing on our tax dollars over here. Who's with you right here? My partner. Partner? Gay? Aww. Aww. Where'd you guys meet? On Tinder. On Tinder? For real? Yeah. Aww. You have an eight month old? No way! Really? Where, uh. Where'd you find it? <laughs> Adoption? Okay, just making sure it wasn't also tender. Like, I don't fucking know. So I want to make, make sure. Let me make sure. An adoption tender, you just like, but no, yes, no. <laughs> Call it something cute like chicken tender, you know? Something kid friendly. Eight month old boy, girl. Girl, you don't know that. Canceled. Eight month old girl. What's her name? Ariella. Ariella? That's the gayest name you could have chosen. White? Mixed. Mixed? You got a mixed baby. Nice. So it could be either Ariella. That's good. That's best case scenario. <coughs> gay as well? Nice. Two lesbian, two gay. Bro, y'all should fist fight. <laughs> that would be fucking crazy. How long have you guys been together? Five years. Five years? Suck it. <laughs> as if that wasn't on the agenda. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What did you two meet? Online. Online as well? Which one? Plenty of fish? Which one? What, what, what was it? Her. 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 I haven't heard of this. Is it all lesbian dating app? Now, what's the format of that? Swipe left, swipe right. Swipe left, swipe right. Just get your fingers warmed up. Alright, let's talk to somebody who spent Valentine's Day alone. Let's see. Virgo men are the worst. You know what's funny about this? Before I even before I even defend myself, I don't even care. I don't even believe in this shit, but I can't let it slide. Okay. Virgo men and Aquarius men. You're Aquarius. Oh, I thought you were annoying. I'm sorry. I thought you were. I'm so sorry. I, I thought that's my bad. Why do you think Virgo men are the worst though? You don't fuck with them? Look, I would fuck you, I just, I haven't washed my hands since petting a dog. <laughs> I just, I don't want to do that to you. <laughs> smells like an Aquarius. <laughs> What's that? Not you though? Da all the other Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The quiet ones, yeah. What's your name? Amelia. Man, I wish you would disappear like Earhart. I really do. I really wish. Shh, 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 shh. 
<laughs> Are you in school? Yeah. Flight school? No. <laughs> what are you in school for? Business. Business? Yeah. Like minding your own? <laughs> what do you want to do with a business degree? I don't know. You don't know? No, I'm just vibing. You don't know what you want to do when you grow up? No. You don't know? No I ideas? Want you just want to be rich. Nursing. Look, it's do. Nursing. Nursing, you will be rich for sure. I don't know if you're Filipino enough to make it, but... I'm you're what? Hungarian. Hungarian? Yeah. Well, my parents are. Your parents are from Hungary, and, and their daughter's from Thirsty? <laughs> mom, how, how old are you? 67. Hold on, Mom, what's, what's your name, Mom? Sue. Sue? Sue? Who told you about OnlyFans? The daughter? What's your link? You sell feet pics? Do, do you actually sell feet pics? I should. I got teenage daughters, so I should. What? Oh, for the money. I said, oh, okay. I, uh, I thought you meant like a collab, but I was like, that's, that's not cool, but probably profitable. Your grandkids love me? Oh, how, how old are the grandkids? 14 and 17. That's terrible parenting. That's, they should not know who I am at all. Man, why would you lie to them? That is, that's what they're gonna get their hopes up. Where's, where, are their, where are their dads? Or dad, it could, it could be single. I, I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even mean it like that, you fucking assholes. It was accidental. You guys made her a whore, not me. <laughs> so he's at home with the kids right now. I like that. I like a, a good mom's night out. That's so cute. I didn't ask. I didn't ask though. Sixty-seven. Is anybody older than sixty-seven? On Earth? No one's good. Anybody? If you if you had any advice to give to to everybody in here with good knees. That was, that sucked, Sue. So that sucked a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, you know what? How would you feel if I put that on your tombstone? How would you feel? You'd be like, you'd be like, not a lot of work put into that. I was looking for some life-altering advice. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, it's almost time for you to wake up. No, it's 11:30. It is almost time for you to go to bed. Forever. Did you know that it's Black History Month? You did know that. Have you learned anything yet? No? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Does anybody have a, a Black History fact or, or statistic that would... Uh... Oh, let's hear this white gill. What, what was it? What, what do you got? Um, um, African American um, invented the super soaker, Lonnie Johnson. What's that? The he invented the super soaker? soaker no way! What's his name? Lonnie what? Johnson. What is it? Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie Johnson. Yeah, bro. That sounds like every cornerback. I used to love the super soaker, man. Okay, that's that's a good one. What's uh, what's another one? He also invented the Nerf gun. The same guy invented the Nerf gun? I mean, if they're gonna keep shooting each other, might as well be safe. <laughs> Fuck y'all, dude. That's a good joke, man. Dude, can we end on a fun third? Does anybody have another one? Nope. Not looking good, Connecticut. <laughs> We've heard enough. <laughs> What's that? It used to only be a week long until a president changed it to the month. Black History Month used to only be a week long, yeah. and then a president changed it to, ma to make it the whole month. Yeah. The shortest month. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what president it was? I don't remember. You don't remember? I do want to know this actually. It was Lonnie Johnson. Bro! <laughs> yup. Yeah. 
I was gonna give it a second, I was gonna say the same thing, bro. I was gonna act like I was Googling for 10 seconds. Lonnie Johnson. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, we are learning. We are learning some stuff. There's also police officers here. I met a. Uh, Officer Swindell. Did you meet Officer Swindell? Oh, is that his wife? This is him. Oh, man. He said you take forever to come. He said that before the show. And he dared me that I wouldn't say it at the show. You seriously got to work on that. That's his trigger finger. And they really, like, he's got a... Oh, man. Now, he said you guys have great sex. He said he beats it up like you fit a description. He really does. He said sometimes he lets her wear the bulletproof vest and everything. <laughs> Wait, they won't play. She puts on the bulletproof vest and then she's a teacher. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not one of your students. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's not even the last school shooting joke of the show. I lived in a crematory. You lived in a crematory? Yeah. My older apartment was a crematory. Why do you know that? Who the fuck just knows that statistic? Nerd. It's right next to a nursing home? The convenience. Beth. There's a cemetery by the Children's Hospital? Come on, Pennsylvania. Have a fucking heart, man. You do not put a cemetery next to a fucking Children's Hospital. You put it next to the school. You I told you there was one more. I fucking told y'all, man. I didn't know where how it was gonna go, but we fucking, we found it. <laughs> All right, that's the last one, probably. I try to write a poem, and I am pretty nervous, uh, but I will do my best. My wiener is chill, man. It ain't trying to do no crime. It ain't even that hard a lot of the time. And that's true, actually, because a lot of times I'll get, like, those wiener pills from the gas station. You know what I'm talking about? Them real giraffe makers, you know? Make my legs sweat, actually. My wiener is trill. My wiener is candid. It looks like Joe Pesci. It's that wet bandit. Um, but I'm lit to the fact that girls are far more than sex. They are champions and soldiers with power in their breasts. They are creative and equal and warm and life-bringing. I love Dolly Parton but it's because of her singing. <laughs> My wiener is chill, man. It ain't trying to do crime. It ain't even that hard a lot of the time. My wiener ain't Weinstein. My wiener ain't Cosby. But sometimes it wishes for a little bit of a Josby. You feel me? <laughs> the last thing you see is a fucking cyborg dude. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> You should lay out some landmines for the deer. <laughs> what you watching over there, bro? Yeah, you said somebody's breaking into your car? Where are they? Bro, I'll go beat their ass right now. I swear to God. You get like a, a notification on your phone? Yeah, it's a Tesla. What's that? Something set, my something set the alarm. Are you parked outside? Yeah, you want to go check? <laughs> Do you, oh, do you have the Century uh, cameras? Can you turn them on? Yeah. That's what he was watching. Uh, is somebody I was out there? To see if the, 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 was in my car or What's it looking like? <laughs> Could you imagine we roll out there with 300 people? And just like, hey! Hey! Pop the front! <laughs> uh, what, what model Tesla you have? You have the Watt you like? I have the three. You like it? Sometimes I get reminded how well my life is actually going. 
because like two months ago I was, I was in LA and I was driving on the freeway and I, I was in the driver's seat and, and Alex who was up here before me was in the passenger seat he was like how you feel man I was like I don't know man things just sometimes things just don't really really be going the way that you hope they're going and, and you know like what if what if this kind of spike in my career just kind of like a flash in the pan you can't make it last or whatever and he was like you realize you haven't touched the steering wheel the whole time <laughs> I was like, I guess it's going all right. I guess it'll be all right. Yeah. It's getting driven around. <laughs> and then he topped me off, dude. It was fire. <laughs> no hands, you know. You a cop? Really? Yeah, the mustache. That makes sense. So you were actually totally okay with the amount of black people that were here. <laughs> like somebody's breaking into my car. He was like, how's it feel? <laughs> ah, shots fired. How's it feel? <laughs> if you guys had to guess a crime I'd get arrested for, what, what would it be? <laughs> what would you say? Did somebody say soliciting? <laughs> who, who said that? That's prostitution? Come on, get rid of that law, man. Come on. But what's funny is you can do it for free. You just can't be like, here's gas money. Like, that's... In what? You're literally scraping food onto a plate while you're talking to me about sex. You're enjoying yourself? Have you ever tried it quietly? <laughs> like meditation or... What's that? Your inability to please others. Oh, 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 my inability to please others. <laughs> oh, no, I could definitely make you come, for sure. <laughs> Who are you here with? Myself. By yourself? No. <laughs> Damn. You couldn't even get somebody to come with you. I'm a nice person, okay? You guys see I didn't start that? It does finish it. I comedically like gave you a facial, dog. Like I, I don't know how much better it can be. You're too much of a partier? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as far as red flags go, you know what I mean? For that right reason. Where'd you meet him? No, like Hinge. Hinge? Okay, wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on dating apps because I don't have that problem. No, no, no. Um, but... <laughs> Was he gay after? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which I you want to make sure he slept with the most beautiful girl in the pool. Oh. <laughs> I know the lighting's not great back there. But were y'all homeschooled? <laughs> Who says that to somebody? I want to... <laughs> To your best friend, I want to make sure I sleep with the most beautiful girl at school. And Jessica said no. <laughs> so do you want to... <laughs> Bitch, don't do first and last names. Who does that? <laughs> Damn, that's so incriminating. Brian. Brian? 
God damn it, dude. Stop saying last names. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you still friends with him? Yes. I'm sure he's not going to appreciate this. The guy's an entrepreneur? Ah. What, what did he claim to do as an entrepreneur? He said that he was a producer. <laughs> How old was he? Oh, this is me. <laughs> Do I hear a teen at the end of this? How old? 21? You thought a 21-year-old was a producer? All a 21-year-old produces is so much cum. Like, that's literally it. That's our only export at that age. Oh my goodness. How long, how long ago was this? You be nice. How, how long ago was this encounter? What are some red flags for a guy? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Children? Yeah, don't fuck those. <laughs> <Let's do that. laughs> Pretty good red flag. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I don't even want to dive into that. <laughs> Sounds like somebody learned a lesson the hard way. <laughs> Sounds like you got a basement just like this. <laughs> I assume you meant when a guy has children. Is that correct? Thank God. Why is that a red flag to you? I don't want to deal with baby mom. How do you think she feels about you? Have you dated a guy with kids? Fuck no, then how do you know it's that bad? Well, yeah, they just got there. I mean, he just bust like nine months ago. Is this family night or friends or what is it? Jeepers? What is that? You all own Jeeps, so you have to hang out with each other? That feels very forced, doesn't it? That's, that's not fair, because like, what if dudes who own motorcycles had to hang out with only dudes with small dicks? You know what I mean? Like that? Y'all two are married? How long have you guys been married? Almost 10 years? I didn't ask how many, how many kids do you guys have? We have three. Three total? 22, 19, and 18. Yeah, we're both out of your age Bo range. Boys or girls? You said we're both out of your age range? I'm not trying to cuck you and your husband. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Comes up to me after the show, I'd really love it if you would fuck her in the cheek. I would really, really love it. I'll take the doors off and everything. I swear to God. You didn't when you got married, it was afterwards. How cold are you kid? What's that? You're fucking with the fabric of Florida right now. Get it right. You're fucking slurring your speech. <laughs> do you own, do you own a Jeep as well? No. Then shut the fuck up! I'm talking to Jeep! Jack. Where are you from? From Africa? Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you call us crazy, like we don't need any more black people. We got the main one. Straight from Africa? Holy shit!
You're not sitting with her? <laughs> no, African cultures don't. She works here. No way. Are you serious? Where's Jack's wife? <laughs> What's her name? Kimberly. Kimberly. Hey, yo, Kim. Have any autistic children? Do you really? Yeah. How old? Um, so he just turned four. He just turned four. Yeah. What's um? How far on the spectrum would you say he is? Is it, is it little by little, or is he like? He's nonverbal. He's nonverbal. Got he got it. Yeah. <laughs> what's his What's his thing that he's really good at? Um, so he's hyperlexic. Hyperlexic. What's that? He's very very good with numbers, shapes, colors. He's good with they numbers, like shapes, and colors. and colors. Fuck yeah, that dude about to rob a casino. <laughs> You're gonna be a very rich mom someday. There's no cons, bro. You don't gotta worry about him talking to strangers. You don't like talking to nobody. That's awesome. Congratulations. What is that? Some fan art. You made that? Are you kidding me? You drew this? That's so cool. She drew this. Aww. This is so good. And you're verbal. Guys, this is really good, okay? <laughs> Fucking be nice, okay? This is, this is going top of the fridge. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, 
I look like that? <laughs> First of all, you don't gotta out him like he's not sitting right next to you, okay? You don't gotta do that. I don't, have you tried being a whore on Instagram? It's fucking lit, probably. Instagram and social media is setting such an unrealistic, expect, realist, unrealistic expectation for all women out there. Like, you guys really have to compete with, like, porn stars on every fucking platform. Step it up. <laughs> Okay, sex sells and violence is pretty much always the answer. I don't know what else you guys want me to tell you. What do you, what do, you do for work here in San Jose? Not, he, he can talk for himself. <laughs> You're in sales? Oh shit, what do you sell? I work for you work for Xerox? Yeah. What's that? Very oh, printers. printers? There's still printers? <laughs> Holy shit, do you, do you fix printers, you make them, you ship them, you sell, you sell them? How the fuck do you sell printers? What's the sales mechanism? How would, hey, you see this shit right here? How would you like that on paper? <laughs> you see, you see, if you look at orders on Instagram, they're only this big. What we can do for you, we can put this on a goddamn poster board. A little 10 by 12. And now you got titties on a fat head. Fuck, man. How long y'all been together? Uh, married four years. Married four years? That's fucking awesome, man. Where'd y'all meet? Uh, we met uh, because of the nonprofit. You uh, met because of the nonprofit? Because of the nonprofit. You got charity pussy? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he calls her period the Red Cross. <laughs> well, she's beautiful, though. It's more like the March of Dimes, am I right? Do you guys have children? Yeah. Nice, you donated sperm, that's great. <laughs> you're really doing your part. You're really doing your part. Four years ago, met at the non prom. That's fucking awesome. Are you guys from here? Uh, no. No, where from? Uh, she's from California. I'm from Europe, from Poland, actually. I thought you had a little bit of an accent. You sounded like an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you said from, from Poland? Yeah. Fuck with Polish sausage? That's what's up. <laughs> We're known for that. What are you, what are you six, six, three, six, four? Six five? Six six? No, shut up, dude. Stand up, stand up. I gotta see this, dog. What the fuck? I thought it was like more of a bitch in my life. He stood up and I was like, What's it like sucking dick standing up? That's the worst. I don't know if shit. This bitch ever. How long ago was this? He got super religious, like stoning adultery religious. This was an ex-husband of yours? After you guys got divorced, he got super religious? Super religious. Damn. He just Damn. got engaged to the pastor's daughter though, so makes sense. <laughs> He just got re-engaged to the pastor's daughter. Look at God. You know what I mean, man? Won't he do it? You know? I mean, after, after you married to Satan for a certain amount of years, you, know, you kind of want to turn your life around. You know, I gotta, you gotta dedicate your life to the good, to the good one. What, what was his religion? Do you remember, like, what his thing was? Baptist. Ba so, like, Baptist. Okay. Uh, what about him being Baptist was like kind of annoying to you? Like, what practices are part of the religion? Um. Sex. Sex? <laughs> what about it? Strictly missionary. Strictly missionary. She's okay now. She's okay now. <laughs> You're saying it like some Catholic dude just tore it up from the back before the show. And you're like, this is my religion, absolutely. Oh my god. Gross. Don't, I don't need all that information. I do think I'd be a good dad, but just not yet. Daddy? No. <laughs> I'm Baptist, you call me father. <laughs> Definitely tr translator, yes? Yeah. Okay. Did you guys know it was me tonight, or were you just coming just avid comedy fans? Fan. A comedy or me? A fan. 
Love you. Oh, me? Are you serious? Oh, my, thank you so much. I, just, I, I didn't know maybe you guys just watched a lot of Def Jam or... <laughs> what's, what's your name, love? My name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Yeah. So, Elizabeth, do you have a, do you have a boyfriend? I'm no, I know. This is like um, this is like having a conversation with a news reporter. Like, <laughs> type faster, okay? I'm trying to show it. I know. I actually, I, I, I did, I did try to date a deaf, a deaf girl for a little bit a couple of years ago, but and she was great. I mean, the, the relationship, there's no problems with this. This bitch just wouldn't listen to me. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. How am I not supposed to do these jokes? I love how you guys got weird when you started to flirt with her, like I was the asshole. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck a death girl. You're gonna just like that. Yeah, no, I'd love to. I just, I, cause I don't want to get hearing aids. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck y'all. To be honest, you don't like regular chapstick? No, like you probably got crusty lips. <laughs> but you ain't gonna find out. <laughs> And as a matter of fact, they belong to Elizabeth, okay? <laughs> She's the one reading them. <laughs> Wait, she is the one reading them. You guys not allowed to watch porn here? Yes. Wait, really? Yes. Wait, yes. Wait, yes. Wait, porn if I'm telling you, you can't. No. Yeah, you have to create an account. Which, if you have a Pornhub account, you're a monster, dog. <laughs> You should not be in a position to leave reviews. Oh, we're ready for this? What? Dear user. <laughs> hey. It should say, hey, bro, is how it should start. As you may know, your elected officials in Virginia are required to verify your age before allowing you to access our website. Oh, website. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, not, he's not a dot. Yeah, you're, you're not a dot org. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While safety and compliance is the forefront of our mission, what were y'all jerking off to? <laughs> yeah, what happened in Virginia that your officials were like, we oh. gotta stop this? Hey, hey, do these school shootings. He said too many school shootings! Ah! Right, contact your representative before it's too late. <laughs> Call a guy and be like, hey man, knock it off. <laughs> I'm trying to come over here. No, no, hey, you call you call your representative and just release the order, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in fucking Florida chucking hot tears off. West Virginia would never. <laughs> to be fair, that's not a website, that's a family photo. <laughs> Facebook? <laughs> Just dentist magazines? <laughs> oh my God. Is it better the other way? Is it better for the like a woman to look like this beautiful lady right here, but have a dick? <laughs> or to be this like burly ass dude with a pussy? <laughs> like if you had to choose, <laughs> would you rather <laughs> smash the beautiful woman with the dick or like the dude with the like super tight pussy though. You know what I mean? Like it's the best pussy you ever had. You can be like, dude. Can he grow his hair out a little? <laughs> no. Damn, man. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we make it in this dude. <laughs> he bald and burly. I would wax that ass, dude. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, you're so mad, I'm sorry. So mad, dude. He looks like he's gonna repo your car, dude. Uh, man, every time I look at you, I see a pussy. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Keep looking down like, the pants are tight. I don't know, I'm like, skinny jeans. <laughs> your wife, this is your wife? Oh, I see you'll be making fun of you now. You gotta be having sex tonight. I like how your pussy feels. <laughs> please do that, please. Just one time. When he's hitting it from the back, you just be like, oh, that pussy is nice. <laughs> you have to do that. Neither of you married? Just not here. Widowed? Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. How, how long ago, don't mind me asking? One year? Oh, that's so recent. 
back on the market or what? <laughs> Can I ask how old you are? Can I ask how old you are? She did this. That's how old. Let's see. Like, oh, turn me up. Yes, ma'am. I never call a woman ma'am. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, age. 69? Yeah, you are. Ghost off. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. You're fantastic. I love, I love you're able to like laugh off this guy. This pot's fucking Shut up, I'm taking it. Can I, this will be the last thing I'm finding out. Can I, can I ask how? Or what from? Breathing problem, a lot of oxygen, or maybe you took his breath away. Murder. She said, I would love to fuck you, but... <laughs> no, she, she, it's very beautiful, actually. She said when her husband was in the hospital, he was telling the doctors, like, no, this is all her fault, because she took my breath away. Oh, that's so sweet. God damn it. <laughs> How do you get your name? My name's yes, ma'am. What is it? Sherry. Sherry. That's old as fuck. That's <laughs> God damn, you must have been, been the one Frankie Valley was singing about. I went, I went to a club Friday night. I went to a... Mayflower. No, it was, it was Ultra Bar. Yeah, which apparently people hate. <laughs> but it was packed. With 18 year olds. Shut up. I did an ID, but I stamped. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, I gotta go. Uh, I'm getting on a plane right now. I, I went because they were like, yo, if you if you come, like we'll give you we'll give you a free table, a couple bottles. I was like, alright, fuck it, why not? I, I like loud music, you know? <laughs> so we get there. Oh, and it was, it was, it was, <laughs> I was so delayed. <laughs> it's like I told you that joke on a walkie-talkie. <laughs> just got. It. I thought we did move past it. I was already into the story. Are you bringing up old shit? <laughs> yes, Ultra Bar. <laughs> so, so then we're like, um, like if you, if you go, we'll give you a free table, some drinks. I was like, all right. And it was just me and Brandon that went. So they're like, hey, let us know if you want any girls to come over. We didn't invite any, just so you know, legally. And uh, my boy was texting me. He was like, yo, we're about to bring out a couple bottles for you. What do you want, like, the sign to say? You know, that was not like the big flashing sign. Like, so extra. And I was like, I wanted to say, happy birthday, Chief Keith. <laughs> Uh, this is a very white crowd, so for anybody who doesn't know what Chief, Chief Keef is, picture the blackest dude of all time. And he's, a, he's a very successful rapper. And uh, I, was, I was already dying not how fun, knowing how funny it was going to be to me just to receive that sign. I didn't anticipate that when they brought out this sign saying, Happy Birthday Chief Keef with these sprinklers and bottles, every person in the club was like, <laughs> Chief Keef, Chief Keef. No way, Chief Keef is in DC on the run up. And then it finally gets over to me, and I'm just like, <laughs> looking as white as possible. Wife, congrats. How long? Six years. Six years. Nice. How long you been together? We've been married for five years. Married for five years yeah. together. So you got married after a year? Yeah, we have a son who's five. You have a son who's five. Yeah. You what? <laughs> 
So you have a son who's five and you've been married for five years. I'm sure those numbers have nothing to do with each other. I'm sure you guys got married out of pure love and uh, when you were ready, I'm sure. You'll be fine. Probably be all right. Where'd, where'd you guys meet six years ago? At a dog park. At a dog park? Man, I know for a fact you don't even got a dog, bro. You the type of mother, you the type of motherfucker to go to a dog park and just... Has anybody seen him? Until, until somebody is like, you know, help look for him? Yeah, maybe, maybe he ran back to my place. And he's like, <laughs> she gets to his house. I don't see a dog. Look again. <laughs> I adopted my 16 year old daughter, so. You adopted her 16 year old daughter? After y'all were married? Well, yeah. Okay, I thought this was like pre dog park. I was like, that's, that's a bit strange. <laughs> Same day. <laughs> he met three new bitches at once. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Wife, daughter, dog. Dude, I love a responsible stepdad, man. Just, just don't let this story end like most of those movies. <laughs> Pornhub. <laughs> Do you guys want more kids or no? It's plenty. It's plenty. One boy, one girl. You, you nailed it. You're fine. <laughs> If I knew your son, I would know why. What's wrong with your five-year-old? I'm pretty sure he's a serial killer. You're pretty sure he's a serial killer? Yeah, let's get him homeschooled ASAP. Let's, uh, what is he? Did you guys have three dogs? Like, what happened? Some of you guys got that a little bit later. How recently did you guys break up? May. Yeah, gotcha. He didn't do anything? He didn't do anything wrong or in life? In life. In life? Did he not have a job the entire time you guys were together? He did. He did? He worked in the ER also? Are you working with a hero? So how did he not do anything if he, if he worked in the ER? Was he the janitor? Aside from work, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he was saving lives. You don't think when Superman gets done, he's not like, oh, fuck him. I don't think he just fucking chills. Oh my god. How much more do I have to do? So you wanted him to do more with his life after the ER? Yes? choose, what would you say is your, is your biggest fear? Scare of the dark too. Scare of the dark too? Pussy, let's go. Let's go. That's us, man. You and I. Nightlight gang. <laughs> this, is this your lady? Girl, just girlfriend? Did you know he was afraid of the dark? It was a learning experience. 
it was a learning experience. <laughs> because I know how this experience went down. He stayed over at her house and kept the TV on, and she was like, how long are you gonna watch this movie for? <laughs> and he was like, till the sun comes up, bitch, you go to sleep, okay? <laughs> Do you know what your girl's biggest fear is? No, I don't. You don't know? Oh, man. Do you wanna fill him in? <laughs> Fish? How do you think he feels? <laughs> and that's why you can't eat pussy in the dark. Um, <laughs> two fears coming together to make one. You guys are gonna be okay. <laughs> Next time she acts up, dog, take this bitch to an aquarium. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, remember there's plenty of fish in the sea, okay? <laughs> Both of you. It's cute, but also manageable, you know? You don't work near the dark, do you? You don't work a night shift or anything? Where do you work, my boy? Law enforcement. Law enforcement? So you really hate the dark. <laughs> you can beat his ass if you want to, man. There's nobody gonna stop you. Not one person. It's our house tonight, all right? You can fuck him up, no consequences. <laughs> Sorry, you're just the only black dude within a hundred rows. So thank you very much, man. What was your name, bro? Sarge. Sarge, great to meet you. My Niagara. Appreciate you, Sarge. No gun. That's a walkie-talkie, all right? You chill the fuck out, fish boy. Do I want what kind of Chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft, can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Oh my god, it could be edibles. Oh, I don't know. Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. Can you guys feel my jokes? my fucking nightmare, bro. <laughs> it is very good. Where are you from? Crumble? Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Boo. Who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with Crumble? No. Why not? And I heard they Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does. Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray even once. There's a cutter, a cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? You have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity <laughs> with this bakery. <laughs> Anybody else see this picture moving? This shit really kicked him, I'd freak the fuck out, bro. What happened with your ghost? <laughs> you a cool ass dad, you know what I mean? 100%. You have any sons? Yeah. You know how many? Not that little bro.
<laughs> my bad, my, my bad, homie. Oh my god, I almost fucked your son. How crazy is that? That's crazy, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Young lady, how old are you? 20. 20? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, when are you in college? Are you in school? Yeah. What are you studying? House science? Health, Health sciences. Health sciences. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be like in my group. Psychiatry? Oh, well, fucking say that, nerd. You know what I mean? Like, say, I didn't go to college. Clearly. <laughs> you go to med school after this? Yeah. Are y'all in med school? Engineering. Edge. Ooh. Got us the battle of progressive women. <laughs> This is what I like to see. Man, y'all have to kiss or something. <laughs> Dad, what do you do for work? Me? Yeah. yeah renewable energy. Renewable energy. Oh, you got money. <laughs> is, is it solar? Solar. Yeah. I don't have anything for that. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a regular respectable edge. He's making the world better and shit. Just trying to provide a bright future for his sons. <laughs> there we go, we found it! I was like, I don't know if I can think of something. We fucking got it. <laughs> got it. Stupid question to ask. What is an engineer? <laughs> Bro, I meet them all the time around the country. It's a very normal job. So I know it's a good job. Like, what does an engineer do? Bob the Builder, but upgrade. Bob the Builder, but <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> Totally different. Oh, okay. Never mind. You're back in the lead. <laughs> is this the boyfriend that you're with? Uh, what 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 you what you do, man? Uh, marketing. Marketing? Yeah. What do you market? Water. water. You sell water? <laughs> oh man. This is kind of the worst place to do it. It's, <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Have you tried Michigan? <laughs> Me that I make sounds when I eat burgers. I didn't know. Apparently, I do. I'm eating a burger and I'm like, uh, 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 uh. she was like, Are you eating that or are you eating that? <laughs> Think about it. Who's sad when they're eating fast food? I'll tell you who's sad the person eating a salad watching someone eat fast food. That's who's sad. So I pull up to this fast food restaurant with a big M on it. And the guy in the speaker's like, you know, may I help you? And I'm, I'm crying, I'm like, you have no idea. Ah, he's 10, surprise me too. <laughs> and it's not what you think. I didn't discover that I had a lost child. It's just that I hooked up with a beautiful woman who had a pre-started family. So basically I became a stepfather. You know, I just took over the payments. Best part for me is that my new son looks exactly like me. He's fluffy too. 10 years old, 162 pounds. Yeah, he's a little, damn! And he's the cutest kid. You talk to him, his name is Frankie. He's like, Frankie, what do you like to do? I like microwave burritos and PlayStation. Me too. Only problem is he wakes up early, five o'clock every morning. Ibra! What? I'm hungry. Me too, make something. And he does. I can hear him in the kitchen making hot pockets, you know, freaking. And he opens the door and doesn't close it, and the whole house freaking. Oh. <laughs> hot pocket. Delicious. Your lady. Nice. How long have you guys been together? A year. A year? Oh, shit. A year? Today's the anniversary? Get the fuck out of here. You wearing an I Love Lizzo shirt? <laughs> Lizzo's. There's multiple? Big girls in general. For real? Interesting. What a hot fetish, dude. I'm gonna say this respectfully. Because it seems like it's what you're into, so purely complimentary, but you got you a good one, bro. You really do. She's fine as hell. I hope you know that. Now, are you into, is specifically bigger black women, or is big women in general? Is that kind of like the overall? Like if, you like black women more. Um, what BLM rally did you guys meet at? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys would have
have brought more black friends, this wouldn't be as awkward. I want you guys to know that right now. Y'all making it weird, okay? I'm just trying to get to know a lovely couple. Where did you guys meet? He has met in high school? No way. Now, um, how did you guys get reconnected? Facebook. On Facebook? He was like, hey, saw you put on some way. <laughs> I feel like we've both grown as people, you know? And, uh, you know. I just remember the dick pic, he was like, can you? <laughs> not the hand you use to hold it, was it? He said, can you work with that? And you were like, I guess. <laughs> like, I love charity work, why not? You know? Led with a dick pic, my boy. Hey, I, I be doing the same thing, man. Congratulations. Who, whose idea was it to come to the show? Me. It was your, yeah, he, he doesn't seem like he's happy with the decision. At all. <laughs> he was like, we could have been at home using up all the cocoa butter and you could have been Damn, man. You guys are so cute. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't get your names. Bianca. Bianca and Austin. Austin. Pleasure to meet you, man. Woo! Austin, what you do for work, man? Uh, what about you, Bianca? I'm a dental assistant. You're a dental assistant? Yeah. For real? Yeah. You work at a dentist's office here in Nashville? I travel. I actually travel from Kentucky to here with an office. You're a traveling dental assistant. Yeah. You were just in Kentucky. Not a lot of work to be done. No. You guys don't have kids, do you? You have kids? Boy and a girl. Were they also with a, a black woman? Nice, dude. Were you married to that woman or you were just with her for a little while? I was married to her. You're married to her. When did you get divorced? Not legally yet. Not legally yet? You want to be black so bad. Joking, joking, God. You believe in crystals? No. Do you believe in like the universe and all that kind of stuff? Does Austin? No, you just love black holes. Seventy-one. Where's seventy? Hi, seventy-one. What up, man? Oh man. Is that Guy Fieri? Yeah, you old enough to, I bet you hate dark meat. <laughs> God damn. Take what I can get? You can't just take things anymore, man. This isn't, that's the old America, man. No, 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 no. Who, who are you with? Um, actually, a really tall Jewish guy. <laughs> Are y'all gay? Actually, we both turned out that way. Yeah. Told y'all it was a choice. <laughs> How old is the, the Jewish now man? I need you to calm it down to a soft <laughs> love you. My people wait, wait, <laughs> The Jews love me? Yes, Thank you. I'm gonna burn all my Yeezys. Thank you. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. Big fan of your carpentry. <laughs> do, you, do you still teach? Um, actually, I do. <laughs> I love it. How to change an adult diaper? <laughs> Bro, can you imagine you fuck somebody and then you gotta be like, nope, keep your legs up. Keep them up. Alright. 
what else is going on? You know, I got a dog show in Italy. Dude, for sure you have judged a dog show in Italy. That That's pretty gay. That's what I knew. <laughs> yeah, nobody's ever been judging an Italian dog show and is like, man, I can't wait to get pussy after this. <laughs> Gay, Jewish, tall. How, you mentioned how tall you were. How tall are you? Six foot seven. Shit. Bro, you should join the WNBA. <laughs> Did you ever go to any of the games? That's all the games they have, actually, so it's okay. <laughs> Caught the whole season. <laughs> you got pretty drunk? I imagine you have to. I just graduated college. You're telling me boys, that, you're telling me boys in college know how to find the foot? <laughs> well, if that's not even a real thing, first and foremost. Um, I'm starting my master's right now. What are you getting your master's in? Criminal justice. Criminal justice? What do you want to do with that? FBI, CIA, for real? Are you gonna find the clip? <laughs> I think it's a missing person. He was last seen in a canoe. <laughs> Where do you know this guy from? We actually met in college. He met with my ex-boyfriend. All right, now are you two better friends than you and then, than her ex and you are at this point? Direct. We ditched him. Oh, you get both of you are friends with that guy. Crazy. I mean, like, mama's boy, hypocritical Catholic. And a mascot. A mascot? A mascot. What was the mascot? The Mavericks, the Bulls. And he loved that so much that he graduated, became the mascot for the Omaha Beef. It's like a football team here. The Omaha no. Beef? <laughs> there's no way there's a team called the Omaha Indoor football team. Indoor football, like lingerie? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I can't get over Omaha beef. I really <laughs> an indoor football team. <laughs> I hope there's I hope you guys have an indoor lingerie league that's called the Omaha Beef Curtains. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Work with them? Are you the beef curtains mascot? He moved to Texas now? He just took a professional mascot job. He took a professional mascot job? <laughs> Where? He wouldn't say, but it's like minor league something. Minor leagues? I didn't know there were like minor league mascot um, like hierarchies. I didn't know you could like work your way up to be in the pros. I thought like pro mascots was like rock bottom for people. <laughs> well, what's usually your type besides mascots? Uh, I slept with a pilot. You slept with a pilot? Yeah. What, like Spirit Airlines? Or like, or like Navy Jet pilot? pilot. Like Air Force. Air Force? Yeah, I feel like he was a Southwest pilot wearing Air Force Ones. <laughs> Where'd you meet him? Um, we worked at the dining hall together at college. Oh yeah, he worked at the college as well. And he went on to become a pilot in the Air Force? Well, that's kind of cool. He's like in the process, he's still gotta graduate. He's not even a pilot? <laughs> so you haven't fucked a pilot. <laughs> you fuck with a guy who likes planes. <laughs> you may have fucked an autistic guy. You said it like he crashed. <laughs> what airline? It's my airline. <laughs> How long did you date him for? Um, a year. You gave it a chance. <laughs> and why didn't it work out? <laughs> Would you say he's plain? So stupid. That was so stupid. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you. 
shit. But no. <laughs> no, I looked over. I was like, there's an empty chair there. I was like, where'd she go? You were taking a shit. It's fine. It's fine. No one's gonna have a job. Oh, I'm embarrassing you. In front of everybody. Okay, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, Adam. You just got it. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I'm just fucking with you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure in the bathroom that I look good for you. That's it. You were just making sure in the bathroom that you look good for me? Yeah. Do a double take. <laughs> Can I tell you you look pretty just to make you feel better? First of all, you never need a man to tell you you look beautiful. So no. No, you, you look great. You look great. You. Yes, I mean it. We're just like we're gonna meet out in the back. No. No. I love you too. You're very sweet. Yeah. Yes. I love watching you. Oh man. I wish you would love listening to me. You look so good. One of us has to. I'm kidding. You guys can't steal my side of the room. She, she is very beautiful. Is she your birthday? That explains it. How old are you turning? 21. That explains it. Would you like the wrist, man? Come here. It's both snakeskin? Python, yeah. Python? Fuck yeah. Not, not, none of those gardener snake bitches. <laughs> These are coupled up, obviously, matching. Nice. How long? Five years. Five years? Where'd you meet? In North Carolina. In North Carolina? That's specific. Where? <laughs> you met at a bar? You met at a bar? Well, yeah. I was underage and drunk. <laughs> Hey, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. Under 21. Under 21, okay. You almost ruined the show. He approached you or you approached him? I don't remember. You don't remember? Also not a good sign. Uh, what do you guys do? Basket weaver. Basket weaver? What the fuck? Bro? You married to a fucking hunter gatherer? What the fuck? You work for the fucking Easter Bunny dog? That's coming up. That's time of the year. That's actually how he got her at the bar. He just he laid down a trail of eggs. It was like. And then he had one of those big picnic baskets up on a stick like this, and then she went underneath it, and he went, ah, got her. <laughs> like a fucking Looney Tune. <laughs> How long have you been doing that for? Five years. Five, five years? Did she take your fucking manhood, dog? What did you do beforehand? Work at a steel mill? Coal mines. Coal mines? Are you serious? And made you start weeping baskets. Um, sorry. Do you like it? Yeah. Come on, man. It's just us. 
<laughs> you enjoy the job? It's fine. Right. What would you like to do if you could do anything in the entire world? Any job? Fly a helicopter. Fly a helicopter. Interesting. Man, I, I used to love helicopters, but I'm also a Lakers fan. <laughs> And you know what's fucked up? He's wearing a black mamba on his feet. <laughs> Can I see one of the boots? Are you able to take one of them off? This is the real deal, man. This is some real shit right here. <laughs> Smell his boot. What the fuck's wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. This is so stupid. As if, as if I would ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been a uh, lesbian? <laughs> Biologically, what were you born? Female. Female. Oh, I appreciate you. What's, what's your name? Carly. Carly. Axel. Axel, I go by Axel, but my name is Carly. Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, the gangster ass name. <laughs> how'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Axel, my best friend. You let your best friend pick your name? Oh my god, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, your name Baby Dick. From here on out. <laughs> you chose the name? How did you, how did you land on Axel? Like an Axel. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> now you feel like a transmission, but that's a... So you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some we should go get some bitches after this. Let's go. I got a 14 year ago, so I'm down. Who uh, who who are you married to? Male, female? Uh another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um same situation biologically. Okay, gotcha. Why didn't it work out? Shut the fuck up. You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? Uh, like some kind of muscle disease. A muscle disease. Yeah, and he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? No way. I'm a, I'm a drag king, so I'm not doing drag. No way. Fuck you. What's up? You have a stage name? My name is Gunner Down. Gunner Down. Oh my god. You and your 9mm. Oh. With Gunner Down as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. Is your shirt... 55. 55. Do you remember the, the first non-pornographic thing that you... Was it your imagination? What were you thinking about? <laughs> what was your imagination? What were you thinking of? Was it, was it a teacher at school? Was it a, uh, a celebrity yeah, crush? It was. it was a teacher at school? I hope he wasn't having the same dream. <laughs> wow. Who was the teacher? <laughs> Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin. Yes, Some people owed because they're like, what if he's here? He's probably dead. Hey, he was your teacher then? Ah, probably. Was, he's gay? Oh, he's definitely dead. Satire, you guys. Just joking. He was gay, that checks out. He was probably hot as fuck. 
he was really good at kickball. <laughs> That's what did it for you. The way he just fucking. <clears throat> But he was pointing to your brother. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? 80. 80 what? <laughs> 80 anything was about to blow my mind. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> well, they, Mr. Martin was his name? Morton. Morton. All right, well, if anybody knows of Mr. Morton, tell him he had an alternate option. <laughs> Gay? Ah, all right, that's what's up. Good to see you, man. Your last name's not Morton, is it? No, I just wanted to make sure. How's your kickball game? Rusty. Rusty? Like a trombone? It's a sexual move. Do you know what a rusty trombone is? I think I want to ruin this woman's night. So even, even, even I'm not one, I, I've never done or had one, but if I'm, if I'm imagining, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but isn't it, isn't it when you, you're, like, if a dude's standing like this, you would be like behind him, I think, and you put your mouth to his butthole, <laughs> and then you reach through and you go, ah, <laughs> <laughs> For the troops. You know? This is my security in case any of y'all on your Will Smith shit right now. <laughs> like getting offended and running up on stage. Keep my wife's name out your fucking hands. Because yeah, never mind. Whatever. That's such a cool skill, man. This is like you solve an imaginary Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Just killing shit. Is uh anybody gay? <laughs> anybody at all? Anybody anybody in the vicinity? <laughs> I know you good with your hands, dog. Oh, I know it, dog. I know it. <laughs> this man will jerk you off with a poem. <laughs> You're so sweet. I've just never been in this position before. This is so much fun. <laughs> A sacrifice. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> did, did, did my interpreter just get gentrified? I don't understand. <laughs> who um who who are you signing for? I, did, I don't I didn't even know. Um, I'm not sure. She said that <laughs> no, it is not you, bitch. You've been here on the whole show for sure. You make us wish we were all deaf, to be honest. Uh, you don't sound deaf at all. You sound, this just seems so extra. What was your name? Nicole. Nicole. Great to meet you, Nicole. How did you, um, how did you hear about the show? Um, fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. This is so exciting. Thanks for coming. I just, I just wanted to know. Sounds like you don't need to be here, to be honest. Let's right? yeah. yeah. everybody be nice. Especially you feisty. I like your energy a lot. I'll come back there and take your fucking batteries out. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'll turn, I'll turn you off. All right. Super Bowl. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill the fuck out, man. If I have her sign something, will you relay it verbally? Ha <laughs> ha
You didn't know this was deaf comedy jam, did you? You didn't know. Where's your accent from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. You're from Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Welcome to Ohio. <laughs> it's, uh, it's if it, is this your first time in Columbus? Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys are from Cleveland. Oh, never mind. Enjoy Columbus. <laughs> crack is pure. <laughs> he misses Saudi Arabia so much, he came all the way to Cleveland to find some bomb-ass pussy. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> How's the comedy scene in Saudi Arabia? People, do, people, do people laugh? Yeah. Most of the men? Uh, <laughs> I didn't get your names, I'm so sorry. I'm Kaylee. Kaylee and what? <laughs> I make it easy for me. Let's go. Like saying dude, but you're gonna add W, so we dude. Like dude, but with a W, we dude. But it's mean the most lover in Arabic. It means the most lover? Aww. You big dick slinger, are you? Aww. You and your weapon of mass destruction. Aww, he's so cute. Do you really want to know my full name? I want to know your full name more than anything. You gonna take a note? No, I got it. It's all up here, dog. If someone said I'm gonna give it whatever they want. Really? Yes. You'll give me whatever I want if I can yes. pronounce your name if correctly. You say my full name. Will you give me whoever I want? Yes. Oh. You can't do that here, my dude. You can't do that. You can't just be giving people away, okay? Anymore. Hey guys, we haven't always been a cool country, okay? <laughs> Alright, well dude, lay it on me, dog. It's Abdul Wadud, Abdul Rahim, Ruh Alameen, Abdul Rahim. Yo, somebody put this motherfucker in reverse. Did y'all hear that shit? Oh, sounds like somebody rewound this motherfucker. <laughs> It sounds like he was like, I'm new here, I love America, Cleveland is awesome, Columbus is so much better. Take it back one more time. What dude? I mean, we have to have our parents and grandpas and great grandpas and then family. So you'll be known when someone like me, you out there, uh -huh. like, oh, is that your grandpa? Oh, that's your grandson? So that's how we know each other. That was more confusing than your name was, to be honest. That was far more confusing. I love you, dog. I really do. <laughs> Absolute pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, what'd you say? Well, it's my pleasure to meet you, too. Oh, you said it so right for me. <laughs> he, said, he said it with like a strong accent at first, but then he went, it is my pleasure to meet you. <laughs> it's like when I turned into Siri real quick. You're a cool ass dude, man. Um, um, Columbus, we, uh, we gotta get out of here. Uh, uh, I know, I know. Somebody's gotta catch a flight. <laughs> so trash. <laughs> Buffalo, dude. Buffalo. You saw me barely touch it, right? Is it, Don't make oh, that one right there? You knew this was gonna happen. That's why there was a backup. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Let's see. How do I... Hey guys, I don't work at Radio Shack. <laughs> Fucking tell me how to do equipment stuff. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There we go. It's also loose, right? Uh, I gotta, I gotta hold my shit like a rapper. The whole show. Let's go. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, is there a wireless one? Oh, shit. We got options? Okay. I'm gonna put this back. It's on now. 
Check, check. Nope, nope, nope. So what do y'all want to do after this? <laughs> it's on now, right? else to do. <laughs> I'm saying it all. It's not it's still not on. I can go back to that one. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's fuck it. Yeah, that'll be fine. We can just leave the, the core of this one off. That's okay. I'm not you see I'm not even touching it, right? Like that's I am, this shit's bound to move around. The wire is not shitty good enough. <laughs> Bro, this shit feels like... <laughs> this shit feels like I'm like the base of an orgy. And I'm just like... Oh, eh, eh, and then, and then the, whole thing, the whole fucking time. <laughs> Alright, let's hope this is the one. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I fucking hate this city, man. I just feel like this shit would never happen in Albany. I wish I could turn y'all's mic off right now. I really do. <laughs> Your birthday? Mm -hmm. You got a little sash on? I didn't have a crown, but it was hurting my head. You have a crown, but it was hurting your head? Yeah. Be stronger. <laughs> can I see the crown? She can, she can give it to me. Don't shoot her. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. I'm the mayor of San Francisco. Look at that shit. And if you were offended by that, let it go, let it go. The gays never bothered me anyways. <laughs> you guys going out after this, or is this the birthday celebration? This is the birthday celebration. This is it? This is a 7 o'clock event. You gotta, get, you gotta go out and get fucked up after this. That's so exciting. You what now? You work for a living? Bitch, what you think I'm doing? You think I'm up here having fun? You think this is fun for me coming out here, hee hee, ha ha, telling traumatic family stories about getting caught jerking off? You think this is fun for me? What do you do? I'm an EMT. You're an EMT? Ooh, a hero. <laughs> Fuck. Is it your friend's birthday as well? No. What's, that? What's her sash? Dancing Diva. Dancing Diva? I don't like that. I don't like that. You dance? Sometimes. What about for twenty dollars? No. Good. It's way too much. Okay. It was the only sash left. Is that what you said? You know you don't have to wear a sash for her birthday, right? That's such some girl shit to do. If you don't dance, best friend, what do you what do you, what do, you do? Well, are you talking about profession or just hobby We'll start with profession. You're paramedic as well. Oh, nice. You guys both saving lives. Good for y'all. Now, what's this hobby? Uh, mountain biking Super. and rock climbing. Mountain biking and rock climbing. Oh, you didn't say you were a lesbian. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Mountain biking was a dead giveaway. Dude. What age were you when you shifted gears? <laughs> hey, do you have pegs on your mountain bike? Where'd you meet your boyfriend? Hmm? Where'd you meet your boyfriend? You in the front row, you didn't hear me? <laughs> he has hearing aids. You have hearing aids too? Oh, man. That is one of the more beneficial STDs you could have. You don't have a boyfriend? You got it right, she's Shut up. 
Wait, you're really a lesbian? Shut up, for real? I knew it, dude. Oh, you didn't say it was a mountain dike. I mean, uh, uh, a mountain bike. Don't laugh, dog. You security. You're supposed to be on a straight right now. How far along are you? Seven months. Oh my God, it's almost here. It fucking hurts, right? What would, if you could compare like a guy having to go through, like, what do you think we would have to go through to 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 experience something like that? Anal. <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I think it's a lot worse than anal. I, I would imagine. I think it's, it's a different pain. I mean, you've taken a big shit before, you know? <laughs> That's basically anal, you know what I mean? Every dude in here has taken a shit so big that you're like, I could be gay, dude. Like this, this was light work, you know what I mean? Nothing, bro. <laughs> No. Mila and... Umberto. Roberto? Umberto. Umberto? Sure. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Okay. What about you, Umberto? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm a deputy sheriff. You're a sheriff? For real? I didn't mean anything I said. I, I, I was just fucking around up here. Uh, it's a cool name. Um, <laughs> You've never shot anybody? You shot in somebody. <laughs> does that scare you about him like having to have a job like that that's so dangerous? It does? If you don't get a response within the two hours, you just think he's dead? Yeah. It, no, that, he could just be cheating. Like, it's not, it's, it's not always that serious. It's not always that. Y'all gotta get some more black friends, bro. I'm telling you, man. Black dudes are so fucking... Oh, y'all read a book. I, I've got ESPN. <laughs> y'all gotta step the fuck up, bro. Let's go. Thank you. That's yeah, beautiful. Well, you making me scared. Don't do that. Jesus Christ. Especially in the dark. I can't even fight you back there, dog. It's... Jesus Christ. See what I mean? Don't say it, be it. What? What? You ain't a nigga, but act like one. Given a script, I just played the part. Okay, I want to thank the academy. <laughs> I will ask you, man to man, what, what would you say is your biggest fear? I don't like clowns. You don't like clowns either. Is, it, is this your lady you're with? Yes. Girlfriend, wife, uh, fiance. fiance. Congratulations! Don't fuck it up. <laughs> how, how long have you guys been together? Three. Three years. And did you know he was afraid of clowns? You didn't? And you've been wearing all this makeup the whole time. You didn't know he was that afraid of clowns. You were about to marry a man you didn't know you couldn't take to the circus. Seems like vital information. Do you guys have kids? Five? God. Okay. Demon children? One lives in your dad's house? Is that your sister? There's uh, three spirits, one's a guy, two are women, and a demon child in the house. 
There's three spirits. One, one's a guy, one's a woman, and one's a child. One got murdered. One got murdered. And one was a, a madam. And one's a, one was a madam. Sounds like your dad's running a whorehouse. Where does he live? I'm going to check out these demons. These semen demons. Some of these broke ghosts. It attacked two of the, two of the tenants. Did they not pay? That's how it works. That's how a brothel works. I don't think you need an exorcism. I think you need a pimp. Somebody keep shit in order, you know? No, that's actually not how it works. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. If you want to write the show for me, you can do it. Not how it works. And this is, a, this, is a, this is a super funny, common thing. People come to the show and they think because they just see crowd work online that that's like literally all the show is. Wrong. No. It's a very small portion. And I've actually never really had a chance to explain this on stage. The reason, I don't, get, I don't really get annoyed about that unless you keep doing it. Um, because I'm, I'm a lot of people's like first experience at a comedy show. I, I, I'm actually genuinely curious. Who here has never been to a comedy show before? See? see? A lot of people have no idea how it works. So the reason I post crowd work stuff is because you're coming to see me, right? And how comedy works is you, you for, for a year, sometimes two, three years, you work on building an hour long set of material, right? But when you do that, it takes so long to do that. So imagine if I posted the same jokes you'd already just seen. You'd be pretty pissed off if you just paid to see the exact same jokes you saw online, right? So crowd work is something that can't really be duplicated. So it's something that happens uniquely at each individual show. And I get to share that experience. And you get to go, oh, he's funny. What else does he have? We'll go see him in fucking Salem. That's how it works. So we already did a little bit of crowd work. We'll see what happens later. <laughs> if you can afford front row seats next time, maybe you'll be the one. <laughs> With five kids too? God damn, man. Y'all should be in the back back, dog. Providing for a whole family out here. What do you do, by the way? Do you work, are you a m mom? You're a massage therapist? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds like you work at her dad's house. There, we did some crowd work. Bro, <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, dog. Bro, I'm not Chris Rock, though. I'll kick you in your chest, bro. I swear to God. Are you dapping me or you want the hoodie or my wallet? What do you want? Careful, dog. Careful. Y'all watch Criminal Minds? <laughs> Alright, hey, one handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. <laughs> I'm just one more. Tonight, I'm seeing him live in person, like a lot of us, I'm sure, for the first time. But I've been watching him, me and my girl, my baby mama. And, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Shamari, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world, Jenny. You're the father of my daughter, but I want to fuck Matt right. <laughs> Check this out. Then we're going to go meet the motherfucker, but you ain't going to fuck. <laughs> but the, re the reason I'm here. It's because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like seeing motherfuckers win. And this, and this, this young white boy, who wants to say nigga so bad, <laughs> because all his friends are black. <laughs> but he can't say it, because he'll get guests. But when he comes to my house, I'm going to say, get it out of your system. Nigga, 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 nigga. is because I've never met this man. I just watched him on YouTube. 
And I was like, yo, this motherfucker's funny. And he's pretty. And, and no, but they're like, pretty people ain't supposed to be funny. Kevin Hart is not pretty. He's short and he's funny. Chris Tucker, motherfucker, damn! Okay? Dave Chappelle is rich as fuck. He's not yeah. pretty. True. I'm pretty, goddamn it. This motherfucker is pretty, but he's honest, he's real, and he's funny. And I DM'd him like a bitch. And he DM'd me back like a bitch. So now we got a romance going on. And I said, I'm going to come to your show, and I'll pay you like a bitch. But he did give me the tickets for free. But I just want to say, I believe that this dude is on his way. He sells out every show. Uh, and I believe, I believe you are going to see Matt right. And whatever it is in his heart, and like all, all his jokes and all of that stuff. And I want to see this motherfucker in front of a bunch of nicks. Because I think he can handle himself. But my point is, let's applaud. The bravery, the boldness, the unapologetic Matt Wright. And let's watch him grow. Let's watch him grow. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank Respect. you, man. Thank Respect. you, bro. Can I add it? He's stealing. <laughs> Go stairs this way. Yeah, be careful. One more time for Tay Diggs. Matt. <laughs> Wait, is what? Oh, did you see it? Yeah. Fucking say something next time. We have big gnats here. They're like the big gnats here. I think those are called flies. Dude, hold on. Dude, do I have it? Do I have it? Moment of truth. Did I drop it? Let's go! <laughs> Bitch! It fell out when I opened my hands. Damn, I'm an assassin, bro. I don't know who. Well, show's not gonna get better than that. So, I think we should all get out of here and go to fucking Bass Pro Shop or whatever you wanna do around here. What's in there? Can I have it? Yeah. I'm a MILF. You're a MILF? With the oh. <laughs> Just because you got kids don't mean you're a MILF. Uh, Lunchables, thank you so much. All right, you don't need to hand, I can see there's a lot in here. You don't need to hand me all of them. Okay, thank you. Thank, all right, so we'll save some for your children, maybe. I'm going to put them back in here. Wow, look, it's a Missouri salad. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> it's combos. Is a folder? Yeah. Is it your record? What the fuck is it? It's a sexual consent form. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> this is legit. <laughs> so it goes the Sit down. <laughs> Before you're not able to. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a legitimate sexual consent form. Um, the parties, this sexual consent form is made July 12th, oh, only today, huh? Man, man. Don't, because tomorrow I was open to it. Man. The proposer, and consenter, Matt Reif, not my signature, by the way. I'm gonna be very, very clear about that. Uh, whereas the proposer and consenter are sexually attracted to each other. and would like to manifest that sexual attraction through participation in one or more sexual acts. Time. Therefore, the consent and proposer make their bodies available to each other for the aforesaid purpose from 11.30 p.m. on the date of July 12th 
till for a period of 24 hours. Let's change that to 24 minutes. And, uh, activities. Oh, there's a check. There's a checklist for activities that are approved. Uh, full body touching, check. Kissing, check. Digital penetration. What does that? What does that mean? Digitally. You put a USB in somebody's pussy. What does that mean? Fingers? Oh, digits. Oh. No. Uh, oral sex receiving. Okay. Oral sex giving. I'm all right. The proposer is using the following methods of contraception on an ongoing basis. It just says the pill. I don't trust that it's not just Tylenol. I'm just gonna process what we've been through in 14 minutes. I almost fell. I killed a bald eagle, is what we're gonna tell people. We're gonna tell people it was a, it was a dangerous animal. And I was raped on paper. The forearms on you, says the sisters. What's your name? Casey. Casey and Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you, Casey and Jesse. You guys are adorable. Where'd you guys meet? In Columbus, Ohio? You guys drove from Ohio? You're not even allowed to be gay up there. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Stay down here. Well, well, uh, maybe. Let's go west a little bit. Yeah. Um, you got here yesterday. Are you going back tomorrow? Did you guys do anything fun for Easter? Repent, maybe? <laughs> Did you guys go to church this morning? You had food poisoning? Fuck. Eating the wrong fish. <laughs> That's Jesus saying clean up your life. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Now what's Penn's mechanic like exactly in, in Columbus? An arcade bar, like um, pinball machines and stuff like that. Nice, just work on your finger and just. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, do you remember, who, who'd you come out to first? You don't mind me asking. Your friends, and did they know? They were like, yeah, bitch, you, you, look, you dress like that, you don't skateboard at all. <laughs> You're young, you don't have to do it anytime soon. But would you ever want kids, you think? If I'm rich. If you're rich? Well, you're gonna have to stop working at an arcade bar. That's step number one. Oh, man. I go through backpacks like crazy. Like, because I fly so much and they always fuck up my bags. It's always the, like, the, the, the lining on, like, where the strap meets the actual backpack. It gets fucking torn from always carrying so much shit. I, I go through more straps than you guys do. <laughs> trying to get to it. I was like, how can I, how can I squeeze that in without any lube, you know? Mm. That's so cute, man. I wish I was gay. Yeah. I'd never pay for it. <laughs> you calm down back there before I have her come back there and peg the shit out of you. Okay? I swear to God. What gets in the way the most? Communication, I guess. Communication, that's a big one. <sighs> well, it doesn't always need to be verbal, you know. I'm sure you guys are pros at reading lips. <laughs> you know, settle it rock, paper, scissors, you know. <laughs> like the bolts. You got your foot up on the stage to hold you hella comfortable, man. <laughs> what, what kind of work you need those boots for? Electrical contractor. Electrical contractor, nice. You have been electrocuted? I have. Well, yeah. shocked. You been shocked? Yeah. Like finding out your daughter's a lesbian? <laughs> we did IVF. You did IVF. Inver infertile in uh, uh, infertile vitro asphyxiation? <laughs> they put eggs yeah. and semen inside you yeah. and then they just fucking <laughs> So 
restaurant. This is my impression of them after an argument. <laughs> Did you know it was going to be two? Like, did you know you were selecting twins? Yes. Oh, really? I didn't know you could do that. You had to choose the sex. You can't do that. Canceled. <laughs> cancel, 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 cancel. Shame. This is what I was talking about, man. With Nashville, so funny. You guys were like, no school shooting stuff. But I was like, a little bit of transphobia? And you guys were like, yeah! <laughs> we're back in it, baby! <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't make fun of the kids, just the shooters. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Apparently, I'm colorblind. Don't know how long that's been going on for, but man, I tell you what, shocked me too, came right out of the purple. Some people say that I've got a tiny cock, which is accurate. His name is Winston. He's my favorite. And now I have a tiny cock, at least I've got a huge pin.